Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We are back at La Mesa in Port St. Lucie today, and we're gonna look at a really unique toy hall of floor plan. This is a Cyclone. It's the 4214. It's really cool. Come on with us and come take a look. Come on. So up here is the front storage, um, and but from this door, this actually has a TV mounted in it. So if you're gonna be having some guests over and you want to party, uh, there's a TV already mounted for you. The storage up front is actually quite big. Um, we'll look at it from a different standpoint in a couple minutes. Over here, you do have a nice uh, uh, step above step, which is awesome. And Lisa, if you just back up just a little bit and kind of pan up, it's got two awnings that cover basically the entire side. The only thing it doesn't cover is this front slide, but anywhere back here, it's covered, which is awesome. Now, come on down here, I want you to see this. Now remember I said this is a toy hauler, but look at the storage. Look at this huge storage in here. There's another huge compartment for storage outside of the toy hauler aspect of it, right? Absolutely awesome. Access for storage for the toy hauler section. The toy hauler part does have a separate door. Um, but here, look at this. Come on up here just for a second. Because it's a really unique floor plan, which you'll see more in a minute. But look at this, right? It's a real short kind of toy section. This part goes up and down. We'll show you more of that in the inside. But come on back outside. Right? Here's your back deck. Right? And from the back deck, there is an awning too. So if you are got guests and you're out here hanging out on the back deck, your back porch, it, there's an awning for shade. There is a TV mounted back here as well. And so uh, if again, if you're out here partying and to, you know, say there's a big football game on or a race, uh, there you go. So let's continue to the outside, come on. Now here's a look at that back porch from the back. Now obviously, if you're carrying toys, this is your ramp, okay? And so, but once the toys are out and you want to use it like a back porch, uh, these cables just connect and then you can use it as a back porch. Now there is a separate set of steps that you can mount to here, so you don't have to go into the coach to get to the back porch. You can actually access it from right here with the steps that you can put on there. So let's move on. Now, because it's a toy hauler, you can't have the ladder on the back, so they've actually put it on the side for you. So you don't need to carry a separate ladder to get to the roof, do any sort of inspections. The ladder is already there, but when you're driving, this just sort of folds back up, which is great, okay? Your uh, power, your 50 amp service is on a, a powered reel, so all you have to do is hit a button to recoil the power, which is awesome, all right? There is fuel tanks for your toys. So, uh, yeah, on both are unleaded tanks. This is a six-point hydraulic leveling system. Um, we'll look at that a little bit closer up front, okay? You do have upgraded suspension, CRE 3000, which is great. Big, huge tires, right? Um, we didn't really talk about the storage too much, but when you're parked, um, you've got all this storage. This is the other side of the storage, but this door here, as you see, this would norm normally be part of the toy hauler, but when you're parked and that inside part is lowered, you can still use this as storage, which is great. So uh, and there's those steps that I was talking about for the back. Now we're up here in the front, and so this is the other side of where the TV was. And you see, I mean, it's got generous storage up front as well. Um, this is your water bay, which is great. Again, it's a separated compartment, so heaven forbid there's a leak. Um, it's not a problem. It's contained. It would go right out the hole in the bottom. All right. As you can see, this pipe here, that is your generator. This one actually has a generator already installed. Um, so, I mean, you're literally ready to go. Okay. Um, and here you got another uh, place for uh, propane, either a 30 or a 40 pound tank. All right, so let's look at the numbers. This has a gross vehicle weight of 20,000 pounds right, and a cargo carrying capacity of 3,430 pounds. So very, very beefy. Remember, it does have three axles, so you can carry quite a bit of weight. 
All right, y'all, so here we are in the front. This does have just a normal pin box, so that might be something you want to upgrade. It's sort of a three-door configuration. Your generator that I told you is right there, already mounted, which is awesome. This gives you access to the storage compartment that we were just in where the water bay was. And this is sort of a, I call it kind of like an outdoor utility closet. That's where your batteries go, your hydraulic pump is in there. It's sort of all utility. Now right here is your controls for your uh, your lift system, right? I said you got a uh, six point level up uh, um, hydraulic system. This is where the controls are. So when you're trying to take this off your truck or put it on your truck, either way, the controls are right here. So you have great access to it and visibly see the truck and see what's going on. So guess what? Let's go inside and check that out. Come on. All right, so have you ever been in a toy hauler that has a front living room? <laughs> we have not. Look at this, this is amazing. Come on up here, Lisa. Obviously you can see the TV. Uh, decent size, 50, 55 inch. Right, a JBL audio system pre-installed, which is great. Nice 30 inch fireplace underneath, cabinetry, drawers, nice sort of sconce lighting or, or on the walls. Just really well done, okay? There are three seats just like any other front living room, okay? So these two here, this one, and it's opposing one on the other side, fold out to become a bed. And these are your theater chairs. They, they do have USB connections. So if you wanna charge your phone, there's like a little USB plug right there, okay? They're, they're lights, and I don't get the whole lighted cup thing, but that's just me, all right? This is manual. So there's a little lever right there. It's very easy. You just pull it and it, it reclines just like that. Very, very cool, all right? So that audio system, by the way, has speakers up in the ceiling um, and as well outside. So let's go down to the kitchen. Um, you know, oddly enough, the thing that I like, I think, the most about the kitchen is this cute little corner area. Um, I just love that. You can display, you know, all of your um, vases and flowers. Or yeah, right. You put there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there's some storage underneath. We do have a pantry here. Well, let's give it the test. That's actually pretty solid. That is very solid. Yeah. yeah. Way to go. Nice, yeah, nice, nice shelving. And I do like the detail in the glass here. Yeah. Like if you can see it. In the dark colored door, it just kind of sets it off a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so over here, we do have our convection microwave. We do have a nice three burner stove and an oven. Yeah, I love that. Look at that. Oven. That's beautiful. It is. Nice backsplash too. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Yes. Oh, yeah. I do like that. And then moving along, we do have our... There we go, refrigerator freezer. I'm not sure how to open it. But <laughs> side by side. Yay. And then we do have some storage overhead. Yeah, that's tall man storage there. It is. And we do have this little sidebar area. What I don't see here is an outlet. What's behind that door there? All right, well, that's sort of a, well, look, first of all, you see that's a touch panel. There are digital features to the coach. But as a backup, it's got manual push buttons for everything as well, which I absolutely love, okay? But what, what we were looking for, what Lisa's talking about is, there's there's no plug here. Yeah, so so if you want to use this as a coffee bar, you've, you've got no place to plug your coffee pot in. Is there anything like, I mean, is it hidden in here? Or um, let's, all right, we're doing this all live for you guys, right? <laughs> yep, so not, I know, I don't think it would be inside of a drawer either, but so guys, you forgot to put a plug in for the coffee bar. All right, well, nice little island. Nice little island. Um, this is a large basin seat. Yeah. Straight faucet. Yeah, very nice. Yep, solid surface countertops, by the way. Yes, they right? are. Right, which is they nice. Are. Look guys, I don't know if you've been in a cyclone before, but really beautiful quality, guys. I mean, this is not, cheap work this right it's it's very very well done nice dinette seats for um the table does expand so you know if you don't want to sit that close to your neighbor you don't have to you can social distance in your in your own rv no i'm just kidding it does have this little leaf as you can see that can pull out so you can just expand that a little bit all right so let's get up to the front what do we got going on up here oh you know what time it is it's time for 
Tomlin's toilet test. Well, we are sitting on a porcelain foot flush toilet, which is very nice. And as you can see, I've got plenty of leg room, plenty of width. Uh, for those of you who've not seen any of our videos before, I am six foot four. So please use that as a guide or a reference to, to judge uh, your height when you're looking at, at this particular model. But being six foot four, this toilet gives us plenty of room for comfort to do uh, what needs to be done when you're on the toilet. So we're given this. Now, across from the toilet is your sink. And what I love about this is look at the countertop, guys. Uh, for any of you who spent any time looking at RVs, you know it's kind of, there's usually not a lot of countertop space in the bathroom. So it's, it's nice to see this. Now, obviously there are exceptions if it's a rear bath, but generally speaking, most of the master baths don't have a lot of countertop space. So this is great under counter mount. Uh, it is also uh, solid surface like the rest. Now down here, you got plenty of storage and there's drawers. Up top, there's some cabinetry, which is awesome. Got a nice medicine chest as well with the mirror. Uh, speaking of the mirror, wow, I can see from here down. So I don't, I just maybe, yeah, that's awesome. That's great. And look at this, a place to put towels and linens and things. I love that, right? Because after you get out of a shower, you need a towel. So it's good to have the towel storage. Anyway, let's get in the shower. Okay, as you can see, I'm in the bubble. Again, it's a skylight, but I call it the bubble. Um, so there's there's plenty of height and the bubble is in, in a perfect spot. So I can move around in here a little bit. So I'm not like stuck in one spot. The shower head's in, in a decent spot too. I mean, it's a little bit low, but this can actually uh, be twisted to, to go up like that. And so yeah, perfect spot for tall person. Um, plenty of left and right, plenty of front and back. It's a little bit tiny compared to some, but look, it's not bad. It's really good. Um, the only thing I don't like is, is the glass shower doors, and I've talked about that many times. Um, if this is the first time you've seen our videos, we did a video about doors. It's down there in the description. You should check out the shower door video. But guys, this is definitely... I know we've already done the bathroom, and we're about to go into the bedroom, but when was the last time any of you looked at a toy hauler where you had to go up the stairs to get to the bedroom, which was in the back. I can't think of any myself. Come on, here, come on. So, we are sort of actually in the toy hauler part. This bed is on a lift system. Uh, Lisa, look at the track on the wall. See the track on the wall there, and the one there, and the one here. So when you're in transportation mode and driving somewhere, this whole bed comes up to here. So you can have a full toy hauler, yet when you're parked and your toys are out, you have a normal looking fifth wheel. But you've got a party deck out back on top of it, which is awesome. All right, so let's talk about the bedroom though. This is uh, uh, an RV queen, all right? And guess what? This is not a placeholder mattress either. This is a real mattress. And I'm telling you, it's really comfortable, okay? Which is amazing. There is some storage back here for clothing. If we come around here, Lisa, you've got a little dresser up front. Again, solid surface. There's a TV already mounted in here as well. Now over here is your washer and dryer, okay? Now, this is the only place here. Let me grab this so you guys can see a little better. I'm not, sh you could probably put a stackable in here, okay? But if you did put a stackable, you're taking away the only place you have to actually hang clothes up in here. So it is my belief that they intend this just to be a, a combo unit and so that you can hang clothes above it. And so that would sort of be what I would think that is actually for, all right? So guys, tell us what you think. This for us has been the most unique floor plan that we've ever seen for Toy Hauler. 
right? Typically the bedrooms are up in the front, living room and, and, uh, and kitchen and dining room are sort of all in the middle. And then the whole back is toy hauler. They turned a regular fifth wheel into a toy hauler. We love it. I mean, look at this, right? A lot of people who have toy haulers, you're out with the whole family and entertaining space. This is absolutely amazing, right? Let us know what you think of it. Leave a note down in the description, all right? For those of you who have seen our videos before, thank you so much, Tall Man Clan. We appreciate you. If you found us for the first time, y'all know what to do, all right? Until we see you all again, be safe.